Vaughn, the American media has been calling her Little Miss upset. She's American Melanie Udan, 17 years old and unseated at the U.S. Open. She's now in the quarterfinals after beating three players that she wasn't expected to beat. Bloomberg sports columnist Scott Sosnick joins us now with more on this tennis fiam. Who is this young woman? Well, until now, nobody really knew. But let me tell you, you know, I love the psychology of pro athletes. Right. And I spent some time with her after the win over Sharapova in the player garden. And it's amazing that off the court, she reverts to being that teenager, that giggly teenager with her text messages. She's just as you would expect any 17-year-old to be. But when she gets she's on that an assassin court, on the court, she, she does not. I mean, she has believe written on her shoes. And it's, I'm surprised Adidas hasn't marketed those yet. And they say they won't. Big mistake. But she turns into this other person, this sort of a metamorphosis that happens. She has no fear. She believes in herself. And when she hits that court, she is all business, all adult. You know, Scott, I was thinking, trying to think back to the Open in a run like this, and I was thinking about Tracy Austin, because I think she was like 14 or 15 years right. old when she had a similar run. Have you seen anything like this, well, in, at least in a major? Well, a couple of years ago, there was a, a Russian girl by the name of Anna Chokvatadze. Nobody really knew who she was, and she made it all the way to the semifinals. And this could be the cautionary tale for all those Udan fanatics right now she hasn't been heard from since she got bounced in the first round this year so there have been instances where unknown players make it to this round and then just can't get back in the future what about Kim Kleisters she's going to this uh, quarterfinals as well Oh, great match Kim Kleisters going up against Serena Williams possibly next that's a big-time match now Kleisters is technically an unseated player you know she took two years off to have a family start a family but we all know she is the former number one player in the world. She can play. That's going to be a great match. How's it looking on the men's side? About as you'd expect. No yeah. upsets. No great upsets anyway. For the first time in the open era, though, no American men have reached the quarterfinal. So you've got your Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, Andy Murray, the big names, the top seeds, uh, Del Potro's on the court as we speak. So no upset so far, according to Forbes. Yeah, and Andy Roddick flamed out again. Well, lost to John Isner, another big serving American guy. And then Isner, of course, went away in the very next round. That's been the problem. You get a big win by an American man, but he can't make it stick. Scott, I talked to you last week when you were out at uh, Flushing Meadow, but I think it bears repeating. Even in this economy, we're seeing huge crowds out at the U.S. Open. This is an event. And as we talked about, there's a story on the Bloomberg now about hotels being packed. Exactly, and yeah. The euro is strong. Hotels have lowered their asking prices, their room rates to fill their rooms. So it's a Labor Day weekend. There's a reason to come to New York, and it's a big-time event. This is the number one tennis tournament of the year. People are coming here to see it. Uh, and New Yorkers love an underdog. I remember when Jimmy Connors was on that great run years back when people thought he was washed up. They're, they're going to be rooting for this young woman, aren't they? Oh, they have shown their support in mass. And usually when Maria Sharapova steps on Arthur Ashe Stadium court, the crowd loves her. Sure. They back her in New York. She played Udan, and believe me, that was a 100% Udan crowd. Really? They turned on Sharapova. They love this underdog story. And she's got the sweet smile. She's got the great story. Her young parents girl, are young there. Girl young girl from, from Marietta, Georgia. Yeah. What better in the U.S. Open? <laughs> Scott Sosnick joining us. Scott, thanks. Thank you.